Sorry, I just hate when stuff gets in my eye. By our count, there were 178 dead people in 28 days later. Of those, 43 were men, 13 were women, and 122 were too blurry to tell, giving us a pie chart as gray as the skies over London. This respectable amount of kills puts 28 Days Later as the seventh highest kill count on this show. Welcome to the top 10, my British bros! With a runtime of 113 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 0.63 minutes, or 38 seconds. Man, those mass graves really sneak up on you. 234 people died in this version of Carrie, which still falls short of the current record held by Final Destination. I can't do too much about the gender breakdown, since, I mean, you know, but with a runtime of 132 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 33.85 seconds. That's math. By my count, 274 people died in Brightburn. Other than the 268 plane victims, we had an even ratio of three guy and three girl victims. So I bet you can barely even see them in that pie chart, huh? With a runtime of 91 minutes, that left us with a kill on average about every 20 seconds. But, I mean, you know. Uh, oh, wait, oh, okay, actually, this is good right here. Alright, uh, 287 people died in the collection. Of those, 32 were men, 43 were women, and 212 were two mints to tell, giving us a pie chart as gray as the interior of this trunk. With a runtime of 82 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 16.9 seconds, making this the fifth highest kill count and my third entry into the top 10. <laughs> Can you wheel me to the bathroom now? A record-shattering 292 people died in Final Destination. Obviously, I don't know the demographic breakdown of all the 287 plane victims, but aside from them, three men and two women died, so we can put them on the pie chart in some barely perceptible wedges. With a runtime of 98 minutes, we had a kill on average technically every 20.14 seconds. But yeah, you can see here why averages aren't always useful. We counted an astonishing 358 kills or kill equivalents in Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. Sadly, that falls 19 short of upending Zombieland Double Tap for the Kill Count Championship. That's basically the Kill Count equivalent to a kick out at two and a half. With a runtime of 93 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 15.59 seconds. By my best estimate, there were 376 kills in Zombieland Double Tap. That beats the record of 292 set by Final Destination 532 days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Kill Count Champion, Zombieland Double Tap! Congratulations. With a runtime of 99 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 15.8 seconds. What the fuck, man? Well, 460 people died in Deep Rising. 13 men, 3 women, and 444 unknown, giving us a chart as gray as the gene in this movie. And that makes this the second highest kill count of all time, just behind Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Now with a runtime of 106 minutes, that gave us a kill on average every 13.8 seconds. But still, it will never beat Dude Bro. <laughs> Oh, tentacle! Sizzler! <sighs> well, since this is technically three movies in one, let's separate out these kills. In Dude Bro 1, nine people died, seven men and two women, giving us a pie chart bluer than the remains of old Parchtown. In Dude Bro 2, 16 people were killed, eight men and eight women, upping the count as, you know, good sequels do. Then finally, Dude Bro 3 killed 4,269 people. 15 men, 4 women, and 4,250 unknown parched towners, plane goers, and, you know, orphans. Giving us a stupid jump in numbers and a very gray pie that, you know, expired in the 80s. Oh, and there was that one guy that was killed in a commercial, giving us the only time you'll ever see a single person pie. That gave this trilogy of a film a grand total of 4,295 kills, which I believe makes this the new Kill Count Champion. Yep, technically, that is correct.
job. Thank you for setting a new record that's going to be harder to beat than Bruno San Martino's reign. I have no idea what that means, but I do know that with a runtime of 103 minutes, that gave us a kill on average every 0.024 seconds. Oh man. So fucking dumb. I never thought I'd see the day, but I counted 800,054 kills in Emesis Blue. And you know what that means. Zoran, get in here! Everybody, your winner and new Kill Count World Champion, Emesis Blue! <laughs> How is that any less obscure than Dude Bro? Get out of here! <laughs> anyway, every kill in this thing was a dude, except for Scout's mom, so a pie chart is pretty much useless. But may I offer you a bar graph with how many times each class died? This excludes the big groups, obviously, but looks like the medic and the scout tied for most deaths at five. And congrats to the demo and the pyro for only dying once each. Finally, with a runtime of 108 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every .00013 minutes, or .0008 seconds.